the Yahweh, Bracket the Yahweh Shai, Bracket the Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutation of the Akiyam, pushing out the word and truth and sincerity of the whole four lek around the globe. All right, I just wanted to share this quick meme that it inspired um, the lesson, all right, which one of the pertinent battles that we're facing right now one of the principalities that we're facing is the major attack on masculinity all right so-called black masculinity you know israelite masculinity the israelite man being distraught and brought low okay especially in his masculine frame okay these devils are upset and uh, so wicked that they know that us in our true form our true masculine frame our true masculine nature which this society doesn't promote at all it, it's meant to breed weak effeminate men okay they know that if they get us to be the so-called boys that they want all right we're easier to control if they keep us docile all right there's no such thing as revolution there's no such thing as uprise okay and this, uh, that's why it says one of white supremacy's biggest fears, black masculinity, all right? Which we know we so-called Negroes, Latinos, West Indians, we are the children of Israel, okay? We're Israelites. We're not black. We're not Negroes. We're not Spics. We're not wetbacks, all right? We're not a minority, okay? If we come back to who we are, our true nationality, our true sovereignty, the scriptures say, remember yourselves as men, Okay? So that's why in the time of the end, with all truth coming to light, Esau being made bare, okay? You have even characters like Kevin Samuels, which rest in peace, they, they murdered, most likely on, on a very suspicious tip, you know? It, it, was, it, was, it was very suspect the way that the brother was taken out. And that's because of what he was chiming in about, all right? Black masculinity, so-called, and, and telling our women to get in order. All right, this devil thrives in the wickedness that he's created. All right, this upside down society he, of women being masculine, men being effeminate. Okay, so in the last days, with f truth flooding the earth, there's there's certain men like those that even if they're not knowledgeable in the word, but they have a zeal of the Most High. Okay, you have uh, brothers like Andrew Tate as well which they just locked them up probably on some bogus charges, okay? But the reason that those figures are attacked and keep being kept down is because this devil wants to per portray us to be in a, in a weak, effeminate nature, all right? That's why they put up idols like, like RuPaul, for example, you know, a, a grown-ass so-called Negro cross-dressed okay they they have um terms like toxic masculinity all right give you an idol like will smith you know a, a powerful so-called black man but you know being destroyed and, and weakened by his woman you know things of that nature they take out the malcolm x's they take out the tupacs okay no mike tyson you know put him through the ringer all right and it's all for the purpose of that agenda of making the man an inferior thing, not being the powerful son of God that he is. Conducting himself in a weak nature, in an emotional nature, okay? That's why they, they try to get us to be emotional so we're illogical, okay? And we could be swayed. Just like women could be easily manipulated, how we saw Eve in the garden with the serpent, all right? So Isaiah 29 and 16 reads, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, all right? The potter being the heavenly father himself, he's going to take into account all the, the what these devils have done, all right? He's going to bring it to mind, and he's going to preside judgment over it because it's an abomination, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? And that's what these devils try to do. 
say that the Heavenly Father had no understanding, okay, we're trying to bring in this androgynous society that there, it, men could be women, women could be men, all right? So they're saying that the Heavenly Father had no understanding with his order, okay? It says, is it not yet very little while and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field? And the fruitful field shall be esteemed as forest. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book. And the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of, and out of darkness. So when the Lord presides judgment and when he sets everything back aright, all right, the few are going to wake up. And that's what's happening. He who has an ear, let him hear. Okay? The few are hearing. The few are seeing. Okay? They're seeing, and those that had been blinded are now seeing out of obscurity and out of darkness, all right? Because this gross darkness that has come past the earth is just for the, ultimately, the purpose of the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay? And His Son's return. And before His Son's return, okay, the, the elect are going to be awakened. They're going to be initiated. They're going to be tapped into their spirit. So they're going to be able to see for what it is. So they could call on the power of the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. But that comes with waking up out of darkness. All right? The, the meek also shall increase their joy, all right? Which is the elect in the Lord. The meek shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. All right? So the very lowly, the elect, the one that have been downtrodden, the one that are hated by the world, because if you have a certain view of righteousness, of what's right, okay, and you're not taking this new age, everyone having their truth, and and the truth is, is subjective, okay, that everyone could just have their own, and, and push that narrative that Esau's trying to push, that men could be women, women could be men, okay, if, if you don't go against those views and you have the views of the Heavenly Father that men are men and women are women and they both have their, their proper roles, okay? You're going to be hated by the world. The world's going to hate you if you're of the righteous. And that's just plainly how it is written, okay? And, and what's the order? We have it in the scriptures, all right? 1 Corinthians 11 and 3 tells you the order. Okay, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahavushai. Okay, so every man's head is Yahavushai. All right, so a man out of order is an abominable thing. A man that's not answering to the proper channels and being guided by the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, His Son Yahavushai, is out of order. But they try to disrupt this structure. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahavashah. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. It doesn't say that, say that they're equals. It's saying that the head of the woman is the man. So the man calls the shots. The man is the leader. The man has to reason logically, rationally, not be emotional, not be hot-tempered. Okay, and for him to do that, he's going to have to have the wisdom imparted by the scriptures of the heavenly father, his only begotten son. But why do they try to give the man a false Christ, a docile, all loving Jesus, no matter what, no matter what they do, forgive and, and, and just love Jesus, just come to Jesus. All right, because a man that judges and governs himself so erroneously is going to govern his family erroneously all right he's gonna and not have gonna have any structures he, if he's out here loving every damn thing okay so know that the head of every man is yahweh shah and the head of the woman is the man and the head of yahweh shah is almighty Yahweh. So even Yahweh Shai, the reason that he has structure, the reason that he was the only begotten son, the reason that he is the holy of holies, okay, is because his head was almighty Yahweh. So we have an order. The scriptures say, let all things be done in decency and in order, 
Okay? So Almighty Yahweh, then his son Yahweh Shai, then that man that has the wisdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? That has the structure that is trying to apply the knowledge of the wisdom of the law, statutes, and commandments of the scriptures, okay? He will be able to govern righteously his household, his woman, and the woman, their children, okay? And then those children will grow up and, and, and you train up a child the way that he should go and they won't depart as it is written in Proverbs, okay? So then that child would be able to know how to govern their household properly and so forth and so forth. That's the real generational wealth, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. But these devils try to take away our true generational wealth. Okay, us having the structure, us having order, us knowing our almighty power and his son. Okay, and the law, statutes, and commandments that was to make us superior in the sight of the nations. But yet, since we're a bunch of damn degenerates, our men are or lead in the Mo movement. All right, the our people are the most targeted to be effeminate, to be emasculine. Okay then of course we're not going to get respect and of course our communities are going to be destroyed of course our children are going to grow up to be degenerate monsters with no structure themselves okay so yes part of so-called white supremacies which is the the supremacy of esau edom these devils being in the position of power that they are and for them to stay in that structure they they don't follow that you see that the small hats don't follow that the the women are equal to the men and the women are calling shots okay but part of esau's supremacy is the fact of keeping us in adverse customs which that's literally the definition of satan to be adverse to be an adversary so we have the right way that's given to us and imparted on us by the scriptures okay and then we have his way, his story, okay? The, his way of being, his culture of the, the man and the women are equal. As a matter of fact, the women are above the man, okay? The children are above the man. If the man wants to set any boundaries or any standards in his household, that's being toxic, toxic masculinity. And you don't need to deal with that. You know, this is what he tells the woman. Same thing that the Eve, well, well, the same way Eve was deceived by the serpent. Okay. Modern day Eve is being deceived by the serpent into believing she don't need no man. All right. That her job is her purpose. Okay. That the strong, independent woman is, is the right woman. All right, that the woman that wants to be nurturing and, and take care of children and submissive to her man is a weak woman. Okay, all these narratives is what's overtaken our people. We've been given a culture of death and destruction and foreign to our way of life. That's why our communities are destroyed, and that's why in Hosea. 4 and 6, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our, our people aren't only destroyed, but they are literally destructured. They have no structure for the lack of knowledge. Okay? So, to those who have an ear, let them hear. Whoever could repent, whoever could wake up, stop following the ways of the world. Because the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son are going to destroy the ways of this world. All right, to establish the kingdom on earth as it is in heaven that is in, that is going to be in order where men are going to be men women are going to be women where we are going to have the proper structure of the households as it is written okay so with that i pray brothers and the few sisters was edified to next time shalom all honor love glory and praise to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakak with dash shalom